here's the deal is that you never sin except for one cause. You desire it. You're like, oh, David, I don't like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, I don't, I don't like it. See, Paul Tripp talks about this idea where sometimes we confuse cause and occasion. Right, the cause of sin or the occasion to sin, right? Where it's like, that dude cut me off, so he, you know, got, you know, out of my mouth. Like, he caused me to sin. You're like, no, 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 no. That was the occasion for sin, but not the cause. Well, David, my boss said if I didn't lie, he would fire me. I didn't want to lie, right? But he, I had to. He made me. I said, well, think about this. You had a choice, you wanted to keep your job more than you wanted to tell the truth. And at the core of how sin has corrupted our hearts is in, its, uh, in our desires. And the truth is we are what we love. And at the end of the day, this prayer is saying, God, as I experience tests, don't let the enemy entice me, those internal desires inside of me to sin.